Just come my way wherever I go Hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way I was just wondering how you're going to be, you know, at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Are you prepared? I'm prepared. I'm all right. I'm all right with it. And how... I'm all right with it, but like I said, remember, tell, let them know that I know that the cops knew who I was after Richard Mallory died. I left prints everywhere, and they covered it up and let me kill the rest of those guys to turn me into a serial killer. I know they did, because I was no professional serial killer or anything, or murderer, or whatever you want to call it, you know? I wasn't special at so, what I was doing. Eileen, how... I did how, some sloppy work, you know, and I left How have you prepared yourself for tomorrow morning? I, I'm all right with it. Everybody knows the name of Eileen Wernos. If you don't, maybe you've seen the movie starring Charlize Theron called Monster, where she played Eileen Wernos, the prostitute hitchhiking serial killer. Well, here, where we are today, after a massive mammoth manhunt, Eileen Wernos was tracked down to this town called Port Orange in Florida, where she was arrested on January 9th, 1991, here at the Last Resort Bar. It's a dive bar, it's a biker bar, and it's really cool. Let's go inside and take a look at this place. Now, Eileen wasn't here just once. This was one of her favorite places to hang out. The people who run this place, who own this place, including a guy by the name of Al who owns it, speaks very fondly of her, has a lot of very fond memories of Eileen and Ty having a drink here at the bar. They even have a bit of a shrine here for Eileen. That's an artist rendition of her, of course. 1889 to 1990, murdered seven Central Florida men. And these are the names of the men, where they're from, and the dates that they were killed. It's pretty wild. Put to death October 9th, 2002. This is the last resort wall of fame of people that have been here, that have hung out here, that have drunk here, had a drink here, had a drink here, listened to some music here, hung out with friends, including Eileen Wernos. This is her brick. She's got one, two, and a half. Eileen, Eileen Lee Wernos. I was raped. It's pretty wild. Same. Convicted serial killer. Let's say the cops were following you. Yeah. Let's say they were following uh -huh. you and they did everything that you're, you're saying they did. Uh-huh. Nonetheless, yeah. you killed seven men. Yes, yeah, sure And I'm did. asking you, what got you to kill the seven men? And I'm men? telling you because the cops let me keep killing them, Nick. Don't yeah, you not, get it? Not everybody is killing seven people. So there must have been something in you that was getting you to oh, do Oh, you that. are lost, Nick. So I was a hitchhiking hooker. Right. Running into trouble, I shoot, shoot the guy if I ran into trouble. Physical trouble, the cops knew it. When the physical trouble came along, let, him, let her clean the streets, and but, then we'll pull her in, But That's how come why. there was so much physical trouble? In just, it, because it was all in one year. Seven people in one oh, year. Oh, well. Oh, well. No, is it okay to ask about what happened that night or that night? Well, it happened that afternoon. It was just a couple of undercover cops came in and talked to her and shooting pool with her and drinking beer. And one left to go get a key for the motel. They came back in, finished their beers. As soon as they hit the front door, the sheriff's department got them. It's the last I seen of her. So she was sitting at the, the bar. This was one of her hangouts. Right. Correct? So. Yeah, she was always welcome here. That's, she'd spend nights here and stuff like that. She had no place to go. Yeah. No. No, there's all kinds of things online, like how she was and that. But I don't know. I mean, like, 
to me, she seemed like she would have been a pretty down-to-earth kind of person, hanging yeah. out. You know well, what I mean? She was from Michigan. People don't understand. As a father committed suicide, Leavenworth Prison. He was a child molester. Right. The grandparents raised her. When the grandmother died, the grandfather put her out. And she had to go fence for herself at 13 years old. And this is up in Michigan, so it was cold. She slept in cars. That's why she wound up in Florida. Yeah. Get out of the cold weather. Yeah. Then she wound up with Ty, and her and Ty used to come in here and drink beer. And, and they lived not too far from here, correct? Who? Or uh, Eileen and Ty? They stayed not too far from yeah, here. Yeah, the hotel right down the road. Right down the street, yeah. It's called the Scoot Inn now. It's called uh, Fairview Inn at the time. Okay. And a lot of she... people come down to stay in a room that she used to stay in and stuff like that. Right. <laughs> Have to go down and check it out when we leave yeah, here. See Mike, see Mike down there. Mike. Yeah. Okay. He runs a scoot in down there. Just the other side of the traffic lights, the only little motel there. Oh yeah, that's not too bad at all. And at first bridge is where she threw the gun in, and they dove there for a couple of days and retrieved the gun. And... Oh, wow. See all the movies they've made? Yeah. I always have them send me copies. We're known as a corky bar. I got tons more stuff home. Uh, this is a bra. Took That's an interesting her. thing. What did she get that whenever she was in prison? What, the bra? Yeah. No, before she was arrested. No. Oh. She had, we always had bras and pants hanging there. This is a judge that helped to get the get that get thing there, but right. I'll just show you a few things. That, uh, that's me at the bar. This is one of her meals when she was in jail. Okay. That's all her signatures. She uh, wrote letters. That's Dawn. This is her clothes after. This. this is her in jail. Oh wow! This is her drawings. She was excellent. After she was executed, Dawn Bopkins up in Michigan got this, got her stuff. This is all drawings she did while in, in jail. That's Dawn reading. She autographed the sneakers. She says, as long as I'm being accused as a serial killer. Yeah. So she autographed the sneakers. She read them from the Bible a lot. We've had girls tattoo themselves. This is her. In the family room. This is Dawn. Dawn. More drawings. This was her cremation remains, which some mm -hmm. of the ashes are there with that tree you just took. Her ashes right there at the hickory tree up in Michigan. Up in Michigan. That's the mugshot when she got arrested. This is Charlize Darwin, the movie star. Yeah. With Dawn when she went up there to get the letters for her. This is the actual gun she killed him with. They pulled that out of Rose Bay up there. Okay. Wow. You know all these documents that you see here? Yeah. That's all police reports from the uh, from the tapings, the uh, the shows. I usually don't get it, but it's all this shit. I had no idea any well, of this you, stuff was here. Uh, uh, no, nobody does. No, but yeah. Like I say, the stuff I have in here is a. She wrote the letters to Jesus from Ty. I got letters from Ty. This is this is all the police report. This is all the conversations when she got when she got hung up. Right. These are all court papers, word for word. Wow. There's enough. There's enough here for another movie from Sequa. I got tons and tons of articles. She's in the magazines. Every quarter they come out with them. See his pictures? Yeah. He gave them to uh, this here this tells a story that uh, she had the last week this is all in her handwriting. She had a great handwriting, great spelling. That's beautiful handwriting yeah. actually, yeah. And this is all the story that she was that she caught, got hooked, caught here. You'll be inside. My version to get full story is it really happened. 
and tells about the bar here when she was here and everything. So she was here and got, and it's all in her handwriting. I mean, it's not like, oh, she didn't get a right hearsay or anything yeah. like that. That's why they filmed the movie here. See, this is a, yeah, last chance. Yeah, I guess so, until he got in, in Tulago, some 40, 45 miles down the road. Resuming, back to the rest, it goes and follows. Not their version. You'll be sidetracked. My version. You get the full story. Does it really happen? This is her story on how it happened. Not, right. not movies or anybody else talking about that throw. This is all stuff that you've collected, or yeah, these, these were all court papers. Right. And then we got we got girls that come in here, lesbians. They actually get tattooed of her on their bodies and stuff. These are tattoos on the back shoulders of some of the girls. A lot of lesbians come in here, which is fun. I love lesbians. <laughs> I love everybody. I don't care. I live my life. They live theirs. These are all actual papers. I mean, these are not scripts made up. Right, it's all, yeah, from this the is, actual court hearings and... Yeah, and all the uh, killings, where they found the bodies and how they found the bodies and and what they did. <clears throat> yeah, on 1919, they showed you where they found them, drugs and that in December, she took the Cadillac. It's just all the police reports, word for word. I have to admit, I was a little nervous about walking into the last resort bar. This is the closest I have ever been to a convicted serial killer, and although it is impossible to actually meet Eileen herself, I was here talking with someone who knew her personally, walking where she had walked. All of the interviews that I have seen with Eileen Wernos, all that I have read, and the, even the movie Monster have painted a picture completely different than what I had walked into. I know there is much more to Eileen's story, but the small amount of time that I got to spend with Al gave what felt like a personal and true glimpse into who Eileen was when she had lived here in Florida. So if you know me, you know that I don't drink, but that's okay, we didn't stop there and have a drink. We got some good shots, made some good friends, and we also bought this bottle of barbecue sauce, Eileen Wernos barbecue sauce, executed October 9th, 2002 at 9.47 a.m., crazed killer hot sauce, and on the back, it gets kind of comical, it says, warning, this hot sauce could drive you insane, or at least off on some murderous rampage. Eileen liked it, and look what it did to her. It'll burn the hell out of you, so be careful. Not to be used by women with PMS. Rather interesting. Now, I know that we haven't been making videos quite as often as I'd like. There's been a lot of changes. Still living in Savannah, a lot of things going on, and the car has changed, and if you're paying attention or you've been following the Grim Life Collective on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, which you should be. Because even though videos aren't being made all the time right now, they're a little few far in between, I do post quite a bit. But anyhow, this is Victoria. This is the new Grim Ride for the Grim Life Collective. It is a 1984 Cadillac hearse, and there's Jessica in there. We gotta get going back to Savannah. We've had three days down in Orlando. It was really nice, but it is very hot. It has cooled down some now, so now is the time to hit the road. So hopefully there will be more videos coming soon. But if you're ever here in Port Orange, Florida, make sure you stop and check out The Last Resort, where Eileen Wernos, the famed hitchhiking prostitute serial killer, this is where she hung out, and this is ultimately where she was captured before she was taken off to jail to become a convicted serial killer and put to death by lethal injection. Pick yourself up some Eileen Wernos barbecue sauce. I'm not even going to open it. This is going to go on the shelf. Pretty awesome is that.